Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joni Young, if you're new here, and thanks so much for joining me today for this painting tutorial. This is a winter landscape using a few colors I'll have listed below the video in the description box, and I'll go over them right now for you. Starting off with titanium white, Mars black, uh, warm yellow, neon luminous yellow, sap green, crimson red, scarlet red, and a little bit of neon red. If you don't have these exact colors, that's okay. You can use whatever you have close or whatever ones that you prefer. If you'd like to know more about the paints I'm using, just leave a question in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer for you. So what I'm going to do is just start off with um, going over the canvas we're using and the first brush we're going to be using. I've got a 16 by 20 double primed and stretched canvas here. I'm going to be applying the background color base coat with my number 50 filbert brush. I'm just going to get the canvas a little bit wet first. This is going to help me blend uh, my acrylics out. A little bit of my water's a little bit muddy just from the uh, previous painting I just finished up. And you can probably see that a little bit of it in the top right corner. Lamp post there with a sort of a fantasy forest. Has a bit of a Narnia feel to it, which I love. And so just wetting the canvas down a little bit really helps to blend your acrylics. I always like to mention that because I think it makes or breaks <laughs> um, your motivation for going on with learning how to paint with acrylics. This is a really, really huge, huge tip that'll help you go a lot farther with learning how to paint with acrylics. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of white and a little bit of black and I'm gonna start in the middle of the canvas. Now see how it kind of just smooths over the canvas like butter, almost like the acrylics are acting like oils. So that's just a little bit of water on the canvas. Not too much though, you don't want it to be dripping. Okay, so a little bit here in the middle, darker in the middle, and then it's just gonna work out and get, gradually get lighter and lighter on the top and the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my brush out and I'm gonna switch over to a one inch round mop brush. You can use any stipple brush, mop brush that you have. If you don't have one of these, you can use a fan brush or even a filbert brush. Okay, it's how you use the brush and apply the, the paint uh, that is what's gonna make a difference. So I'm just gonna start lightly tapping here along the left side. And then a soft little sweep just gonna soften these edges up. I want this painting to feel really nostalgic and kind of have that old-fashioned dreamy feel to it. So just by creating these soft little sweeps and gentle little taps we can do that. Okay now what I'm gonna do is just lightly pull off of that wet paint and doesn't that look like the beginning stages of a little forest, some trees back there? So we'll just pull up lightly like that. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of white, tap, 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 just gently on one part of the brush. See how the whole brush isn't loaded, just a little bit of it is. And then all I'm gonna do is just start tapping. Light little taps like this. I've got a little bit of gray coming out in my brush now, which is quite nice because that's just adding a little bit more dimension to our trees. And I'm going to come on this side and do the same thing. I haven't reloaded my brush at this point. I think I might have enough to take me where I want to go with this little bit of tree area. And then just very light, soft okay so I'm going to take a little bit more white this time see I'm just kind of pulling in like this so you have it mostly just on one side and it looks like it's on an angle and I want to add a little bit more white and bright snow covered or frosty covered bushes here. I'm gonna pull and sweep. Okay, 
Now the next brush I'm going to be using is one of my liner brushes. You can use a shorter one or even a longer one than this if you want. I'm just going to get my brush a little bit wet and I'm going to take a little bit of white paint and I'm going to turn my brush upside down like this. And I'm going to pull in a few little highlights on my tree trunks, make them more visible. We started off with that uh, base coat there. Okay, it's very, very subtle. And then you can just add some shorter ones where you want to have the branches this way and that way a little to the left a few to the right okay, i'm going to use a small flat brush this one is a number six and i'm just going to take a little bit of white a little bit of white here and I'm just going to start working on just a suggestion of a barn in the distance. So I want to have a little peak like this that comes up. A little dab on either side of the window on the front. I want the roof to be kind of rounded. I'm going to come in with a little bit of black. Take a little bit more. And kind of went over that area right there. So I'll just take a little bit more white and just tap on either side. You don't have to have too many details to make it look like a building, especially when it's something that's far away. I'm going to go back for my black and add some 
inside. It's just an old, old, old barn. A little bit of depth here on the side with black. Take a little bit more white. Go on an angle and then kind of out. And then across. Be a little bit more generous with my white now. And the bottom of the roof. And then I'm going to add a little, little bit of snow here. Around the base. I'm going to add another little house right here. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to take some more white. I have the roof here. On an angle. And then the other side of the roof over there. Take a little bit of black. Go inside that roof line. under the roof. And then come over top of where that bush is. Add a little chimney. So add a little line right there, a little shadow. Add a door. A couple of windows in here. After washing my brush out, I'm going to take a bit of white and I'm going to just add a little puff of smoke like that. And be a little bit more generous now with the snow on the roof. I just took a moment to dry this off so I could come in and add a little bit more and have it stay on there a bit easier. Sometimes when you're trying to add highlights to wet paint, a little bit tricky, isn't it? Just gonna go over part of that shadow there from the chimney. A 
add a little bit of snow, and then a little tap, 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 tap. A little roof there. And I've got a little bit of uh, that warm yellow. So I'm going to mix that with a little bit of my white and I'm going to add some light in the windows. I always like to do three windows. You can do as many as you want. And then we're just going to add a little bit of light in the house, just casting down. I'm just going to come inside this door again, this barn door. With my black and then my white. So I'm going to add white on the outside. And a little bit of light across the front. Take another mop brush, so I've got another round, dry and clean mop brush, and I'm going to take some more white, and I'm going to add a few more bushes now. And then sweep. I'm going to start to come in with my fence. Just before I add my fence, I'm going to add a moon right here with just a small little mop brush. Use any small brush you feel comfortable with. A little bit of white. I'm just going to twist and go around in a little circle like that. Work off the rest of the paint. And then go just catch around the edge and go around and around to make it look like it has, like it's glowing. And then twist in my moon again and then a little bit extra right in the middle to make it nice and bright. I'm going to go around again, continuously, just making it a little bit bigger and softer looking. So now we can start coming in with our fence. So I'm going to use my uh, number six uh, flat brush. This is a longer flat brush. You can use any brush that you feel comfortable with for this step. And I'm going to come in with some black, a little bit of white, so we'll just make a dark, dark, dark gray color. And I'm going to start the first one right here. Our fence is going to be nice and big here in the foreground. Oh, 
going to take a little bit more black. I'm just going to make them a little bit smaller here. But I don't want them perfectly straight. I want it to be crooked and old looking. Here. Okay, so a little more to the left, a few of them more to the right. And then we can kind of just disappear. Looks like they're going like there's a hill that goes down there. So we'll have a shadow. So just with hardly any paint on my brush. I'm going to add some boards. So see how I kind of like wiggled it a little bit? That also helps to give it um, a little bit of character. Just add a little, a little bit more of a shadow just at the base here. And I'll add a little bit more black underneath those boards. I love how this painting is mostly black and white. And then we're going to add a pop of color somewhere. So as usual, I am making this up on the spot. This is really how I like painting. It's the most relaxing for me. 
I hope you guys are enjoying this. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you are and let me know if you have any questions at all. Okay, I'm going to take some white now, the clean brush, and add some snow. Adding a little bit of snow here and there, really lumpy. Now I have um, thick, heavy body paints I'm using, but you can use any paint you want and apply it as thick as you want. This is going to dry with a bit of a texture because I'm adding so much. A little bit more on this one here. And I'll just add little bits of brighter white here. So we've got the original white canvas, which is a warmer white, and you can see it now as we apply this bright, cool shade of white, which is our titanium. graze over some of these. Make some of them look a little bit older and have a little bit of a pattern in them. how this is looking so far. Um, what I want to do is just add a few little clouds in here before I start adding our wreath and a little, maybe a few cardinals. And I'm just going to keep using this little number six flat brush with a bit of water and a little bit of white paint. And I'm going to add these little scoops This is going to give us a really soft, relaxing type of sky. So you don't need a lot of paint on your brush, just a little bit like that. And I'm going to go around the moon again to add a little bit more of a glow. So now I think we can start working on our wreath. So I'm going to use one of my longer mop brushes and it's dry and I'm going to apply um, the wreath I think right about here. This area here kind of just uh, speaks to me so you can add yours wherever you want. I'm going to take a little bit of black and green. I'm going to tap 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 after I kind of mix it up. And I'm going to just go ahead and just start tapping in. A circle like this. If 
you want to tap it so that you get that texture right that's why i want to use this this brush but you can use like i mentioned before you can use almost any brush but just tap it use it as a stippler okay i'm going to go back for another layer here so it doesn't look see-through Okay, so we've got our green in there, and then I'm going to take a little bit of white for some lighter areas, maybe a little bit of snow or frost. Okay, and now I'll add a ribbon. For my ribbon, I'm going to be using a number five round brush. You can just use anything that you have around the same size. So I'm going to be using my crimson red for my ribbon. And I'm going to add my ribbon right here. I'm going to add a little dab and then some triangles, rounded triangles on either side for the bow. And then we'll add the ribbon ends. I'm gonna just wiggle, wiggle. And then I'll make this one a little shorter. Okay, so I rinsed my brush out. Again, we've got the base coat, which is the crimson red. And now I've got scarlet red. I'm going to take a little bit of scarlet red and I'm going to add highlights around either end of the bow. And a little dab in the center. And then wherever you have it pop out on your ribbon where it comes out like that, you can add a highlight with this scarlet red. Okay, now I think we can start painting a few little uh, cardinals, maybe one or two. So I think that I'll add one over here and I'm going to start with my crimson red and I'm going to add a line, diagonal line, scoop down. I'm going to pull this down lower like that for its tail. The head and then a little flick. For the feathers on the head. A little beak. And then got that black it outlines the beak. A little eye that we're not really going to see because this is kind of far away. little shadows a little bit more of our crimson and I'll go over part of the black and the tail's a bit longer but it goes off the canvas And I'll take a little bit of warm yellow and my scarlet, and I'll just add a little triangle here for the beak.
and then a little bit more of my scarlet for a bit of a highlight there. So we'll have a little cardinal there. We will have another one right here. Start again with our crimson. We will have them kind of looking at each other. So we'll do that diagonal line again. Tail feather. Scoop for the belly. Head. Little flick. And a little bit of scarlet. A little bit of black, mix it up. And then just a little bit again under the wing, tail feather, I'm going to use one of my really small liner brushes here for this area, for the beak. I'm going to go back over to my warm yellow and a little bit of scarlet red. Add the beak here, a little highlight. So it's the belly and that tail feather. We want to add a little bit more of this red too to make it show up. Wing, you can add the, a little bit on the wing as well. And I'm going to just mix up a little bit of my warm yellow again with my scarlet. And add a little dab right there on the ribbon. And a tiny bit of white. A little bit of white to my um, scarlet. I was going to use some of my neon red, but I don't think that I need to. So just a little highlight here. It's just about done. Add a little bit more white on these posts. And just a bit more white here to even out my moon and make it a little bit brighter. Okay, well, this was so much fun. I really, really like this one. I think I'm going to go hang it on my wall now. <laughs> um, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this one too. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and check out Patreon for even more um, special tutorials exclusively just for patrons. Thanks everyone. Bye!